movie theater is hard work. Just imagine how many inspections you have to do all the time. And each inspection could be your last. Especially when there's two movie theaters on one street. The city decided that that's overkill. So one is getting demolished. Luckily, Annie managed to convince the construction crew to look at the other theater, the one Ivy owns. It's way richer and has more potential. When Ivy asked, all the construction worker said was what he said to Annie. There can only be one theater. Ivy totally disagreed. The construction worker decided that both managers have to prove whose movie theater deserves to stay. And you have a week to do it. Ivy knows that if she wants to keep her theater, her viewers have to vote for her. So she's going to go out of her way to make them happy and comfortable. Ivy's holding the viewers back for a reason. Now, before every showing, the theater has to be in perfect shape. If that means a hundred cleaners have to clean it, then so be it. Now Ivy's movie theater will be full of viewers. Brand new VIP theaters with soft beds, unlimited concessions, and massages. That's all you need to make your movie theater unforgettable. Not bad, Ivy. Not bad. In the meantime, Annie, who can't afford to hire a separate guard, is having trouble. The guests don't like how messy the theaters are. She'll have to fix this herself. When she has to, Annie works as a cleaner, too. Even though she's definitely overworked, Annie never gives up. She loves her movie theater. Take some popcorn, cover it with top coat gel polish, and bake it in a UV lamp. Hot glue the popcorn to a shirt. Use lots of pieces, then take some pieces of felt and glue them on top. You made a popcorn cup. No more stains, and it looks cute, too. The viewers are loving the new shirt. Wow, Annie, we're impressed. Who needs creativity if you're filthy rich? Just like Ivy. To save her movie theater, Ivy bought something new. Now the viewers won't just be watching a movie. In her theater, every customer can become a movie star. Technology is amazing, right? Vote for me! In Annie's theater, there's no cutting edge technology. So obviously the viewers are kinda grumpy. They wanted to see special effects. Oh, you will. Even if Annie has to do them herself. She'd do anything to keep her movie theater on Troom Street. Take thick colored paper, print a template of glasses, cut it out, apply super glue around the openings, attach pieces cut out of colored plastic folders, glue on the arms, and you're done. Another satisfied customer. Well, almost. Annie has some more work to do to please everyone. She takes customer satisfaction so seriously. What makes customers matter than other customers? Especially ones who make noise with their drinks. But Annie can't afford to just kick people out because every dollar counts. She'll have to find a compromise. Looks like she just did. A straw muffler. Now loud slurping won't bother anyone. What about the chewing, though? Bad picture quality can really affect your viewing experience. Luckily, Annie knows how to calm down an angry crowd. Because if her screen can't show, 
the full picture, then Ivy's screen across the street will complete it. The lobby of Annie's movie theater has never been too impressive. The hand-drawn movie posters don't attract any viewers. But when every customer counts, she has to do everything to keep them. And everything really means everything. Even an impromptu photo shoot with no camera. It's hand-drawn too. More like life drawing. So naturally, you should pay with hand-drawn money. In the movie theater across the street, the viewers don't need convincing. They are already taking pictures. Ivy knows how to make their time here even better. Just one call and there are real life superheroes in the movie theater. Ivy is crushing the competition. This guy seems too hungry. Are you going to eat all that? He might have if he didn't drop everything. This wouldn't have happened if only Annie had something that could help and keep customers from getting mad. She'll have to ask for help. Only a mother can make up for lost food. And if it's not enough, then the hungry viewer can ask grandma for seconds. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Take a circle of cardboard, trace a popcorn bucket with a marker and make seven circles. Cut them out, paint them. Apply super glue. Attach a strip of cardboard to the circle. Glue the edges. Attach another circle on top. Turn it over. Wrap a black napkin around the spool. Now you have a creative popcorn stand. Annie can keep the food. I'll take the stand. Ivy's movie theater has a huge selection of snacks. There's a ton of different popcorn varieties too. And a small popcorn is actually a huge bucket. What about a large popcorn? That's what one of the viewers is wondering. Ladies and gentlemen, clear the runway. The helicopter is bringing in the popcorn. The bucket is so huge, it's blocking the street. Fanny, you're in trouble. How can she top this? All her movie theater sells is super cheap discount popcorn. Why are you crying? Looks like she can't even afford tickets. That's okay. Print out a small movie ticket. Cover it with top coat gel polish. Bake it in a UV nail lamp. Make openings along the edge of the ticket. Repeat with two more tickets. Put the tickets together on a chain. Done! Now Caroline has a stylish choker that's also a movie pass. Maybe it's Annie's kind heart that attracts customers. Ivy, as the most successful movie theater owner, can afford to watch a movie in more luxury than anyone else in town. She has a hot tub in her theater that gets filled with popcorn whenever she wants to watch a movie. She can afford it. Ivy's quirks don't scare off customers, but Annie's weird theater is definitely confusing. This could have been fine. But Annie is happy like this. Looks like Ivy's gonna win! Finally, it's time! Annie is the first person to get inspected. Nothing changed, and her movie theater is probably gonna get demolished. Annie has an offer for the inspector. A lifetime subscription to her theater. It worked! 
the inspector is headed to Ivy's theater next. It's a shame to destroy all this, but what can you do? He has to knock it down. Ivy is trying to bargain. But there's no point. It has to come down. Tear down this theater. Luckily, the driver missed and knocked down a fruit store. Ivy is so happy. Thanks to the bulldozer's mistake, both theaters got to stay on the same street. Did you like our two movie theaters? Which one was your favorite? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick.